Hey, what is going on, guys? It's the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video to talk about this uh, game. A couple hours ago, they announced it on their Twitter. Um, it is multiverse. Um, it is basically uh, much like what Nickelodeon's uh, All Star Brawl did, basically Nickelodeon Smash Bros. game. Um, they have decided to make their own Smash Bros. game, and it is called, like I said, Multiversal. Um, so this game is already much better than Nickelodeon All-Star Brawls, just from what I've seen. They got voice acting, uh, it seems like they have better engagement with, um, some of their modes, um. They don't have it available on the Switch, but they have it available on all Xbox and PlayStation platforms. The 4, the 5, 360, the 1, uh, and then the PC computer as well. Um, but um, this game um, seems to... Um, it seems to, it's not a Cartoon Network Smash Bros. Like they're not even calling it Cartoon Network like Nickelodeon All Star Brawl did. They're calling it Multiversal, not calling it Cartoon Network Multiversal. Uh, this is basically supposed to be like a Warner Brothers theme. So basically, any uh, buddy from the Warner Brothers uh, library basically could be eligible for this game. Now, um, <laughs> I've talked to a couple people um, as well as. Creep Switch, who actually got me into the Nickelodeon All Star Brawls thing, um, and it seems like from some people that I've gotten that the themes aren't the themes aren't um, what's the word? They're not specific enough. Um, I kind of disagree with that notion uh, because again, they're specifically their theme is Warner Brothers. Um, now, like, with, with Smash Bros., for example, Smash Bros. wasn't originally just supposed to be a video game theme in general. It was supposed to be, um, you know, just Nintendo-licensed video game characters, basically. But then they changed that to just being any video game character as long as they originate from a video game, um, right? That was their rule. That's what their new rule is now. Um, so with this multiversal, um, it just seems like what they want to do is basically put in every character that they basically own, or at least that's what the theme is for the franchise. So we could get Toonami, we could get Tom characters because Warner Brothers owns the IP of all the uh, Toonami characters. Um, excuse me. Um, so, um... The roster is pretty thin right now, but they're supposed to be more revealed. I don't know if that's going to be a DLC or if there's going to be more starter ups besides this. Uh, so far, the roster is quite lack lack luster. Um, uh, I think. Um, I mean, they got strong. They got some strong characters. They got some favorites in here that I like. You know, obviously the D, they got a lot of DC. Uh, you, you you got Bugs Bunny. You obviously got Bat. You know, for your DC characters, you got you got Batman, Harley Quinn. Um, Wonder Woman, obviously. Uh, unfortunately, the piece of overrated crap hype uh, known as Superman is in this as well. Um, don't need to pay attention to him, of course. Hashtag Goku beats Superman. Um, anyways, um, factually, by the way. Uh, anyways, um, Bugs Bunny, Shaggy from Scooby Doo, uh, Tom and Jerry, uh, and then after that, you, you got your dumb uh, Steven Universe characters. I was never a fan of that crap. Uh, Garnet and Steven. Uh, you got Jake the Dog and uh, Finn the Human. That was Adventure Time. Didn't like that show either. Um, and the other ones, I have no idea who they are. Some Ren Dog and a Avian Stark. I don't know who that is. Um... Um, so, 
majority of these characters are pretty much from Cartoon Network. I mean, I mean, if you're going to argue that, oh, well, you know, they're not original Cartoon Network studio characters, well, they, they aired on the network and, you know, are Warner Brother IPs for years, you know, Bugs, Shaggy, Tom and Jerry, you know, obviously the DC characters have aired on Cartoon Network at one point or the another. Um, so people that are tuned out of the Cartoon Network lack of theme. Um, I think we're going to have more Cartoon Network characters in this than not. Um, you know, I don't think they're going to have a bunch of live action Warner Brothers characters in this game, though I would like it if they did. Uh, I wish Nickelodeon would do that with, you know, Ed from Good Burger, um, you know, and a couple other live action characters. Um, but, uh, I don't think we're going to really get that here. Um, but it seems like there's more engagement. It seems like they're going to have a, you know, season mode, uh, to keep people engaged and updates and whatnot, which I, I don't think Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl does not have that, um, which kind of upset me when I played the game. Um, after like the first day of playing it with, uh, you know, with Creep Switch, you guys seen on the live stream that I did, um, try to, uh, try to get my boy, uh, uh, Reptile, uh, in it, but, um, we couldn't get the connection to work. But after that, I was quite bored of the game because there really is no season mode. There really, you know, the, the, the arcade mode is basically the season mode and all you do is just, you, you beat the computer and then. Uh, you, you, you go into like six different stages or whatever and you beat your, your opponent and then by the, the computer and then that's it. You win and then you get a couple unlockables and then that's the end. There's really nothing to it. There's no story. There's really nothing. You know, um, it seems like this multiverse is going to have more of a story to it. Um, and again, they got voice acting, which All Star Brawl doesn't have. I'm sure All Star Brawl will eventually improvise and get voice acting, um, because of how uh, well the game sold. But um, it seems like Multiverse is going to really, when this game comes out, is going to out really, I think, perform All Star Brawls. Um, All Star Brawl is really going to have to up their ante with this one, with this game. Um, so. Um, if you do buy a PlayStation version, you can't play in the Xbox version. Uh, as you guys know, there is no Nintendo Switch available. I don't exactly know what the standings on that is since they did allow All-Star Brawls uh, to be involved uh, on Nintendo Switch. Uh, maybe it's because they have voice acting. I don't know. Uh, I don't know uh, what the bias is. You know how Nintendo is, is very controlling with the games that they allow on their platforms, especially ones that are outside of their company realm. Um... But, um, yeah, I mean, it looks very promising. I, like I said, I think, you know, uh, we'll see. It seems like Tom and Jerry are going to be, like, one character, which I am kind of don't like. I, I, Jerry, to me, should be his own character. Jerry and Tom should be separated because, like, they always, like, fight each other. Like, most of the time, you know, occasionally they'll be allies, but most of the time they're fighting each other. So, them being one character, to me, is quite dumb. Um, you know, <laughs> I want to be Jerry beating Tom, you know what I'm saying? Um, and are we going to get characters outside of Warner Brothers? Uh, characters that may have aired on Cartoon Network. Maybe like the hope of the universe, Goku. So Goku can kick Superman's ass in this game multiple times. I'll be totally down for that. Hashtag, you know, uh, one day, you know, we all know Smash Bros has got a secret uh, downloadable, uh, downloadable. You know what I'm saying of Goku coming to that game. But in the meantime, you could all have this avoided. I can tell you this right now. Smash Bros, the creator of Smash Bros. You could have avoided this if you just put Goku in the game. <laughs> Hashtag Goku for Smash. You know what I'm saying? Still putting that out there. I don't care. They said they announced the last character. I, no. 
no, no, I will not accept that. Will not accept that. You know what I mean? Uh, but maybe multiverse will get it. Maybe multiverse will uh will uh pull it off and uh, get Goku in this game, so I can kick Superman's ass multiple times, as many times as I want with Goku, the hope of the universe. Um, in all seriousness, right now though, um, you know. They're getting the voice actors. You got Tara Strong as Harley Quinn. Um, you got uh, uh, you got uh, Matthew uh, as uh, Shaggy. Um, you know who's been pretty much the definitive Shaggy for years, uh, live action, and then uh, started doing the cartoons. Um, once the original actor retired, um, you got Kevin Conroy as Batman, which I'm sure that's gonna. A lot of people are gonna love that. Um, um, I'm not sure about the other actors. Uh, I know they got the one guy who currently plays Bugs Bunny. Uh, also voicing Tom and Jerry as well, besides uh, voicing Bugs Bunny. I'm really interested to see how that's going to work, because Tom and Jerry typically don't talk. I know occasionally in some episodes, and even some to a certain extent in the movie, uh, they talk, but they're really not supposed to. Tom and Jerry are characters that are supposed to know and have intelligence like Bugs Bunny does, but... They're not supposed to talk. They're supposed to be like realistic animals. That's kind of what makes them different than the Looney Tunes. Um, so I'm not really, I, I've not been a big fan of Tom and Jerry talking. Obviously, Tom and Jerry, that you know, when they make their sound effects and, you know, when they, you know, get hurt and stuff like that, they're going to, you know, groan and ah, you know, and all that stuff. So you got to have a voice for that. But I don't really think Tom and Jerry really should be talking in this game. Um, so for Wonder Woman, instead of getting Susan, who was the Wonder Woman, the definitive Wonder Woman for anime, uh, for animation, I'm sorry, for cartoon animation, um, she doesn't do all the projects, obviously, but, uh, she's, uh, the one that most people know when it comes to animation, uh, for Wonder Woman, uh, she's not voicing the character, which is kind of surprising since they got, uh, most of the characters that did the Justice League anime, uh, cartoon um, to come back for this. Uh, but they got this Abby person who's doing Wonder Woman. I don't know if she's ever voiced Wonder Woman before um, in other projects, but she is voicing him here. Um, like I said, Eric, uh, the current Bugs Bunny, he's doing that, and Tom and Jerry as well. I'm assuming with Tom and Jerry, he's just, like, doing the sound effects, like, you know, of them getting hurt and growling and whatnot, um, because that's how Tom and Jerry should be, um, but, you know, they gotta have somebody do it, you know, um, but, um, not sure about these other characters, um, we'll probably get more, we're probably gonna get more DC characters than anything else. Um, I, I can't imagine that we're not going to have any other Looney Tune characters, um, in the future, uh, besides Bugs Bunny. I, I gotta imagine they're going to have Daffy Duck in this at some point, uh, and they gotta have some Cartoon Network characters. I mean, like, some originals besides the, you know, these ones, because, you know, Adventure Time and Steven Universe are more of the modern cartoons for Cartoon Network, you know, last ten years. Um, or I guess, I guess event wasn't adventure time. I think that came out in 27 or not 20. It, it came back, it came out in like 2007. So maybe like in the last 15 years, if you count that, but you know, we're talking about the early two thousands and late nineties, even early nineties, you know, the OG cartoons for cartoon network. I mean, we haven't, we haven't seen one character so far. No, Ed and Ed and Eddie, uh, you know, um, no Dexter, no Dee Dee. Like, Dee Dee would be perfect for this game. Like, Dee Dee would be perfect. I mean, it's another missed opportunity. Like, Nickelodeon All-Star Bros. They didn't put Jimmy Neutron in the game. Um, You know, at least, uh, you know, uh, supposedly he's going to be in the game in the future.
but they they couldn't develop his model in time to be in uh, to be one of the original uh characters in the game you know so he'll be a future dlc but um you know like it's just a huge missed opportunity because you know those those og characters you know really probably sell the game and obviously with this you know you got dc in there and bugs that's gonna probably sell, sell it it's uh, bugs uh and tom and jerry those, those characters are gonna probably sell the game uh but i would like to see more og characters in this game from cartoon network you know from the cartoon network side um the powerpuff girls you know obviously you got the dc superheroes but you know the powerpuff girls um and also other uh outside of of harley quinn there isn't any villain in this so far i mean harley quinn is literally the only one so far so what about the villains are we gonna get more villains in this game are we gonna get mandark you know what about major glory what about him you know um you know tom from toonami i would love to play as tom in this game from toonami that would be pretty cool you know since they own the characters anyways It'd be really cool if they could bring Tom in this. I don't know what you'd have him as. Well, I mean, he's got a bunch of different powers. He has a bunch of different powers, you know? He's Tom. Controls things. Can shoot stuff, too. Didn't you watch the invasion angle? <laughs> oh, yeah, he can do some crap, too. Um, who else? Who else do we got? Who else do we think? Could be in this game. Also, comment down below who you think should be in the game, because I'll probably, because I, I know I'm gonna miss somebody that in here that I really like, and you know I'm sure someone in my comment section is gonna be like, "What about this guy?" And like, make sure to comment your ideas down below. Um, but uh, yeah, this is pretty good. I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's gonna be an interesting year for video games in 2022. Uh, so far, I'm liking the, some of these games that are being announced. Uh, you know, you got the Dragon Ball game coming out, the the Breaker, you know, kind of dumb name, but still, uh, the the Breakers, you know, it, it's break, it's the Breakers, it's stupid, but it's a cool concept. The game is a cool concept, but the name is stupid. Um, the Breakers, like they have an S in there for some reason. The Breakers. <laughs> it just should be called the Breaker. Like literally, it sound it sounds better. Um, um. Anyways, uh, you got the Pokemon Legends of Arceus coming out obviously tomorrow. Pokemon Diamond Tur Pearl remake, but that's considered for this year, which I will be getting tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll be getting my code soon, uh, because I uh pre-ordered that double pack game thing. I'm getting both games, obviously. Um. Uh, on uh my nintendo switch should be uh, on amazon i got the amazon pre-order um so we'll see where that goes um but yeah so far some of the games that are coming out man like I, we got some really good stuff coming out like next year um really good shit like i'm really surprised at how many like good games that i'm actually interested in playing are coming out you know, because me, I, I, I really like only playing games that, like, I watch. You know, I don't like playing these other things. I also signed up for this because on the thing, on the thing, on that uh, promo thing that they were, you know, sell, you know advertising the game on, this multiverse game on, uh, they basically said, you know, sign up and you could possibly be a participant um, uh, playing the game. I did sign up for it. Uh, I doubt I'll get picked because you're not guaranteed to get picked. Um, I doubt I'll get picked because, uh, because I've never played any of the games that, uh, that when, when you sign up, when you sign up, to, you know, to be one of the testers or whatever, to, to play a game early or whatever, um, you have to say, you have to select on the check mark after you put your email in uh like have you played this game this game this game this game and i've played none of them i've not played smash bros or these other games like you know call of duty and stuff like that i think that was on the list too <laughs> and i was like i don't play any of these games um they didn't put Nintendo. Uh, they didn't put nickelodeon smash uh, all-star brawls on there though 
If they would have put Nickelodeon All Star Brawls on it, I would have put that on. I would have checked that one, but they didn't, so I I just put none of the above. So, um, so I'll, I I doubt I doubt I'll get picked. I doubt I'll get picked. Um, but if I do. That'll be cool. I'll get to test it out. Uh, but so far, I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing with the games. Hopefully, we can get some better characters out of there because I don't want to play as Steven Universe characters or or Adventure Time characters. So, um, <laughs> you know, get some classic OGs in there. Uh, classic uh, DC characters. Uh, and next, next uh, will be Disney. Disney are the only people that haven't made one yet. They'll be the next ones to make a Smash Bro game, and then we can all uh, we can all have, have a Disney Disney Battle Royale. Um, but um, it won't be all the princesses though. Yeah. No, no, no. Because like that, the only one, the only Disney princess would it would be kind of interesting to play as would be Anastasia. But she's not even like an actual Disney princess. But she is. Like she can fight and stuff like that. You've seen that. You've seen the movie. I've seen the movie. You know. Um... <laughs> fighting. Fighting with the Little Mermaid. That's a fun... Fighting with Ariel. That would be another thing. Let's fight with the mermaid. <laughs> Disney, uh, Disney Smash Bros. <laughs> Let's fight with the mermaid. Damn it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very interested to see how this game turns out. I'm very, very interested to see how this game turns out. The voice acting, um, it, it looks pretty good from what I've seen. I'll be getting this obviously for the PlayStation 4. Um, even if they had made it for the Nintendo Switch, I would have still gotten it for the 4. That's what I got the All-Star Brawl with. Um, so it's looking good. It's looking engaging. Um... And that's what we want to see. We want to see that. It seems like they're putting, they, they took their time with this, which probably was a good thing because it, it looks like it's going to be a better game than Nickelodeon All-Star Brawls and it's going to blow them out of the water. And uh, hopefully Nickelodeon All-Star Brawls is going to be doing some actual updates to their games where they have voice acting and they have different features later on in the game like Xenoverse, you know, because they can do it because Xenoverse done it. Uh, you know, with the money that they, they, they got from the game, they should, probably should develop it better um, for the future. Future voice acting coming. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think of Multiverse. Who do you think should be in this game? I'm pulling for Goku. So I can beat Superman's ass in this game multiple times over 9,000. Um, comment, rate, flex it for my videos. Please subscribe. And uh, that is about it, guys. I am the SS Ultimate Goku Moderator. Peace.